and Air Oak. The Ahabolic team are playing from left to right. We'll have Eddie two main goals, Brian Rehill, James Spallan and Michael Keller are the full back line. Donald Moynihan, centre back Padraig Murphy and left half back Neil Casey. Centre field Brian Leahy and David Buckley. Right half forward Joe Foley, centre half forward John Roach and left half forward Pat Keefe. Right corner forward will be Adrian Deneen. Full forward will be John Keneally and left corner forward will be John Max Sweeney. Uh, this is the first final for Ahabullock in approximately 13 years while it's 23 years since Aero last won the crown when they defeated Blarney in 1972 and a team led by Dennis Desmond and a team that contained many at that time future stars of Aero hurling who went on to distinguish themselves in junior, intermediate and senior grades. Both teams lining out. A big factor in this year's league of course will be a victory for Aero by five points in the league section of the competition. However, as we know, league form can tend to go out the window on these championship final occasions. Getting to the final, Ahabolic defeated Blarney, while Airog defeated in Iskaran, there's a final behind. The game is on, thrown in by Tomás Manley. Ball breaks out the wing and this will be Donald Moynihan. Donald keeps it on the ground out as far as the wing. David Buckley coming to mid and he pulls on the ground. Ball goes back inside. It'll be Killian Sheehan, doesn't quite get there. Joe Foley tackling him. The ball is off his hurley. David Buckley gets his hurley in the ball. Breaks right across the middle of the field. <coughs> Brian Lee, he doesn't get there. Neil Casey gets his hand in the ball into his hand and strikes it left-handed down the field, right into the corner. Adrian Deneen breaks the ball down and it's going to be cleared back up by the Inniscar defence. All alone is number 10, Brian Lee, committing the foul on the 65 metre line. I think that's Joe Foley, a cousin of Ahabolux Joe Foley. And it'll be Killian Sheen with the free. Just inside, outside the Air Oak 65 metre line. Left handed, he'll strike this ball. It should be landing around the 21. It does. He strikes a good one. It's in high. Blocked by Patrick Murphy. The ball breaks out outside. It's flicked away from him. Neil Casey flicks it on further. And out he comes, trying to lift the ball one handed. He's keeping the ball on the ground and he's got the ball in his hand eventually. And he does very well to clear the ball straight up the field. Out comes John Keneally. And John Keneally is fouling John Healy, the full back of Air Oak. Just inside the Air Oak 60 metre line. John Healy will take this one himself. He doesn't strike a great ball. David Buckley will be rising for this. Donald Moynihan gets his hurley to it. David Buckley trying to get his hurley in the ball. He keeps the ball on the ground. One hand. He's not heavy. He, he sweeps it along the ground. Up along the far side of Wayne. John McSweeney with the ball in his hand. Being tackled from behind. Ball still on the ground. Gone to ground. The ball has been flicked on. Down right down the wing. Michael Kelleher of Ahabola challenging for the ball. Getting his hurley to the ball. And then the clash. The ball goes out over the sideline. And it'll be a line ball to Ahabolog. About two minutes gone in the game. Michael Kelleher will take this ball. Michael, a student, former student of Secretary College in Carrie Navarre, will strike this one left handed. Strikes a, a reasonably good ball straight into the hand for Brian Leahy. Brian putting it down his hurley. A hand pass to Podrick Murphy. Podrick doesn't get it at the first time, gets it at the second one. He's running out the wing with it. Donald Minehan does a well to strike it along the ground. This will be Pat Keefe running for the ball. Pat strikes, doesn't win it, but it's a stalemate almost. Flicks it on again and it's flicked away again. Podrick Murphy strikes the ball inside. And it'll be all alone. It'll be John Healy of Aero coming out with this one. John trying to get his hurley to the ball. A nice clearance out the wing and further cleared up the wing. Neil Casey goes up for the ball, doesn't quite come down with it though. <coughs> strikes it right handed and that'll be a line ball to Air Oak about 45 metres out from the Ahabala goal on the right hand side of the field no score yet things pretty even Air Oak doing very well in this championship this year as I say it's almost 21 years since they made it a great cut into the middle of the field right in towards the centre collected by Padraig Murphy out of his hand he's hooped Gets the ball flicked out, skilled, is, he dribbles the ball out and it's coming out. David Buckley trying to get there. Brian Leahy, and Brian doesn't quite connect with this one, and Brian doesn't, and the ball is struck in towards the Ahabolo goals. There's a man alone inside. Eddie Toomey blocks the ball. This could go anywhere. <coughs> Eddie does very well to block the ball, and I think this will be Brian Rehill coming out with it. Brian doesn't get there though, and the arrow right off forward strikes the ball in towards the goals. But that one is harmless and it goes to the left hand side of the goals is wide. Dangerous ball there for a uh, well goalkeeper, Eddie Toomey. He dealt with it comfortably, however, if not totally securely. This will be Brian Rehal, the right cornerback to take this puck out. <coughs> He'll be hoping to strike a good ball and he does. That ball will be landing about 65 metres out for the Ahabola goals. David Buckley puts up his hand, doesn't quite get there. Joe Foley doesn't win the pull. David Donald Moynihan 
Got the ball upside the wing. This is Joe Foley. And he flicks it up along the inside of the wing. And Donald Moynihan is still there. The ball's gone inside of Brian Rehill. James Spillane coming across to meet the ball. And that'll be a 65 in favour of Airog. taken by the Air Oak centre fielder, number eight. He'll strike this one right-handed and he'll be hoping for a positive result. He drops it in, it's very high. It's not actually going towards the goals. The ball is broken out towards the square and 82 me does really well. Side in the goals and clears that out the wing to David Buckley. And David going at a bit of a solo run and is almost hooked again. Doesn't do very well. Neil Casey adds to the ball. Brian Leahy trying to get to the ball but doesn't get it. Donald Moynihan doesn't connect either. A lot of nerves and missing coming in there. Joe Foley, it's flicked out of his way. David Buckley is there too. And David trying to bring the ball with him. Brian Leahy also there trying to help. There's a, and it's flicked on further. Pat Keefe gets there first and the ball is flicked out to the wing. David Buckley doesn't connect this time and it's Killian Sheehan. And he is hooked, but he's also fouled at the same time, and that'll be a free to Airog again. Chances there for Ahabullock to clear the wall, but they're not managing to do so. And I think Killian himself will take this one. This ball will be landing in and around the goal mouth again. A lot of pressure on the Ahabullock defence at the moment. It's a low line drive this time. It's blocked inside in the square. It's flicked out, and it's brought out to the wing. It's flicked down inside the end line, and... A great shot and a brilliant save by Eddie Toomey. Oh, superb save by Eddie Toomey. And that was a tremendous strike. I think it was from Joe, Fo Joe Sullivan, I think it was. It was a great shot, but a superb save by Eddie Toomey. And an absolutely brilliant save. And that would have been a tremendous goal. And it was even a tremendous save as well. Michael Keller will like this free out for the foul, the foul on that goalkeeper there, Eddie Toomey. Michael connects and drives it out the field, landing out towards again to David Moynihan. And again, it seems to be the, that, that the Yahabolic centre fielders are not in control at the moment. The ball is flicked inside. And this will be coming out to Michael Kelleher doesn't get there. He does, he flicks it out. This will be. And Patrick Murphy is hooked. He gets the ball back into his hand again, turning onto his left side, and he does very well to get in the clearance the second time. But once again, it's the Air Oak centre fielders doing very well and controlling the game. And the ball is flicked out. Patrick Murphy gets his fix. And that's a very good bit of play by James Spillane. A, a rash pull by one of the Air Oak forwards, and that'll be a free out. <laughs> a change in the Abolook team sees Joe Foley going to centre field and Brian Leahy going down to right half forward. This will be Brian Real to take the free. Oh, 30 metres out from his own goals. He'll be hoping for a good one. He strikes it way up the left hand side of the field. This will be Adrian Deneen rising for the ball. The ball is broken down. This is Brian Leahy. Brian gets the ball in low along the ground. John Keneally has it in his hand. And John turns inside. And John is still going. He has lost control of the ball a little bit. It's flicked across the goals. And that will be a 65. A good attack there from a but a very direct play ball from Brian Rehill to Brian Leahy and Brian Leahy into John Keneally. John perhaps would be hoping to have done a little bit better maybe on that occasion, but nonetheless, gains a 65 and it looks like Joe Foley will be taking this one. Joe placing the ball on the 65 metre line. Referee Tomas Manley, experienced official in these games. Joe will be hoping for a good result here. Lift. Strikes, doesn't hit a great ball, it goes as far as Dave Buckley, John Roach flicks it inside, ball inside, ball inside again, and John Healy does very well to clear that ball out the wing, Donald Moynihan trying to get there first, Donald doesn't, committing the foul, and that'll be a free in, not a great strike by Joe Foley, still it was his first strike of the game, and he'd be hoping to do a little bit better than that, no score in about six minutes gone in the game. Great ball right down into the square again and it's grand. Michael Keller will be challenging for this one and Michael does very well to clear it out the wing. Neil Casey rushing for this one but Michael Keller keeps coming himself and he'll be hoping to win this. Does the ball goes right across the field and this is a dangerous kind of a ball and Brian Rehill does very, very well. Neil Casey, Neil Casey is pulled and that's going to be a free out. Brian Rehill doing very, very well there as there was an aero player lurking around the middle. And this will be Padraig Murphy to take this free, I think. Padraig, a former student of North Monastery College in Cork. Looking up the field, lifting and striking. And that's a very good strike this time from, John, from Padraig. John McSweeney out the field.
flicked out the wing. Challenging for the ball over there is Pat Keefe as well as John McSweeney. And John McSweeney gets the ball into his hand and John is going a little bit of a run and John is fouled and that will be a free in for uh, Habalag I think. I see Tomás Manley pointing towards the goals and it looks like being Joe Foley will have another one. A difficult angle again from this one. Good one there by John McSweeney after initially challenging for the ball and with Pat O'Keefe him enabling himself to, to get his hands in it. Joe Foley. Joe Foley strikes it. Joe Foley's ball goes right across the goals. It's blocked back across in front of the goals. Nobody waiting for the ball though. And the ball is cleared. And that's a hand on Donald Moynihan's back, I think. And that'll be another free. That was a better free from Joe Foley. And Joe, a little bit closer to the goals this time, about 50 metres out, will be hoping for a positive result on this occasion. This is his third one. He'll be hoping that this time he can open the account of this match. Joe strikes, strikes it very well, strikes it hard. And Joe strikes it straight over the bar, and that's a very good opening score for Ahabulag. After about 10 minutes of play, Ahabulag lead one point to no score. <clears throat> Nothing between either of these two teams as John Healy pucks the ball out. Ball landing way, way down the field. Padraig Murphy, judging the hop, lovely, steps inside his man and does very well to clear it out the wing. Da Donald Monaghan, or David Buckley doesn't get quite to the pitch of the ball on that occasion. Killian Sheehan gets it this time and flicks it nicely out the wing. The Arog number eight drives it down the line and it's going to right down in towards the corner and the ball has gone harmlessly wide. A nice bit of work there by Killian Sheehan passing it out to his midfield partner, Tim. And on this occasion, Tim was a slightly, slightly hurried and struck the ball wide. One point to no score, very low scoring game, very tight. These two teams very evenly matched. A good puck out by Brian Rehill, which will land about 70 metres out around the middle of the field. David Buckley puts up his hand, doesn't get to it. Patrick Murphy does get to it. And it's again, it's gone right down into the square again. And this one will be a dangerous... Michael Kelleher does very well, taps it out, but it breaks outside. It's broken inside again. And he's got inside. He's in all alone there battling him. He shoots and he puts it over the bar. The defence did very well there on that occasion to limit the left corner forward. I think you see Joe, Joe Foley, I think it was a cousin of the other Joe Foley, number 15, to, to limit him to a point. Brian Rehill with this puck out again, not as good a one as the last one, but it breaking out around Joe Foley, broken down. Neil Casey hoping to get his hurley in the ball, he does. And Neil does very well, but he's half blocked down and he keeps on and he whips it along the ground. Pat Keefe trying to get this one, the ball breaks out to Killian Sheehan and Killian all alone, driving it in towards the goals again. Breaking in, Brian Rehill taps it out towards the side and that'll be a 65 for Air Rogue. A 65 metre shot for Airog. Strikes it very well, but it's going towards the right hand side of the goals, and the ball drifts harmlessly wide. Possibly should have been blocked, but nonetheless, the ball goes wide. Brian Rehill will be taking this puck out once again from the right hand side of the goals as we look at it. One point each. A better puck out this time from Brian, dropping around the middle of the field, and again, it's it's. Total control at centre field there, Ogre doing very, very well. They'd want to be possibly Michael Keller trying to get his hurley in, Patrick Murphy trying to get his hurley in. The ball is out the wing, Joe Foley is there. Getting in his tackle, ball goes right across the middle of the field. The, the ball coming in from the Arog right half forward. It drifts superbly over the bar, and that's a very good score. Very good score for Arog, leaving them two points to one ahead. Ahabala not in the game at centre field at the moment. And, and a lowish puck out. Ball broke down to Joe Sullivan. Joe doesn't get quite there. He flicked inside. Patrick Murphy gets his hurley to the ball. Flicked out. David Buckley does very well. And David have his sh ball hook. Brian Lee, he doesn't get there either. Ball flicked out the wing. Donald Moynihan trying to get his hurley on the ball. Flicked out the wing. Killian Shane picking it up again. Met shoulder to shoulder. Quite fair. John McSweeney trying to get his hurley on the ball. Does very well. Adrian Deneen putting in the hurley. Flicked inside again. And this will be. And it's cleared out the wing. Patrick Murphy does very well to step inside his man and does very well to get a superb clearance up the wing. John Keneally and John Healy, that'll be a tussle worth watching this, uh, this evening. And John Healy doing very well at fullback for Air Oak. Pucks at a mighty clearance out the wing. It's Patrick Murphy lets the ball go over his head. The ball has gone out over the sideline. And the ball, I think, came off Patrick Murphy. So it'll be Kelly and Shane with this line ball. Two points to one, with approximately 15 minutes gone in the game, midway through the first half about. 
Line ball from Killian. That's a very good cutting in here on the middle. Blocked inside. Flicked out by Patrick Murphy. They're trying to get the ball out. There's a lot of... Not Donald Monaghan. Flick it on. Donald has a, a loose pull across his legs. And the ball will be a free out. Padraig Murphy will take this. Padraig doing quite well, but leaving the free. No, Padraig won't be taking this one. He'll be leaving the free to Brian Rehill. Brian placing the ball carefully and stepping back. And Brian driving it out to the left half forward position. Ball breaking inside. Joe Foley was trying to get there, but it will be. Joe does very well to block down the puck. And does. But the uh, Rogue man recovers. Neil Casey does superbly out of the. And does very well to drive the ball in towards the goals, but it looks like being dropping giant in John, John Keneally breaks the ball down. Adrian Dean pulls in it. And there is a foul seen by Tomas Manley, the referee. And that will be a 21 metre free from Joe Foley. And I think Joe will probably be lined up to take this one as well. Aha Bullock not making great headway in the forward line, but they'll be happy to put this one over the bar as they are not making too much of an impression in the forward line and Joe strikes and Joe puts it straight over the bar and that makes the score two points each Ahabulloch two points Aero two points in a very very tight mid Cork final and a score this evening here on Clitov ball popped out David Buckley does very well on this occasion as the ball breaks down towards his feet but the ball is flicked down up along the wing nonetheless by Killian Sheehan Brian Rehill trying to get there in front of Joe Foley Joe Foley wins it Pulls across the square. James Spillane coming out. James doesn't win the ball with him. He's being hooshed off the ball. I think it was pretty much fairly. The ball coming back across the square. And Eddie Toomey does exceptionally well again to make a great save. Driving the ball out towards Pat Keefe. And a great catch out in the wing. And a great shot back in. It's going in towards the goals. And it's retrieved inside. Well blocked down by Brian Rehill. It's gone right in towards the goals. And that will be a 65. A dangerous passage of play, Eddie Toomey doing very well to clear it, and a superb catch by the right wing back <sighs> of Air Oak to drive the ball back in, and that was a very dangerous tackle, Brian Rehill doing very well to block down the intended shot of the Air Oak full forward. Another 65 for Air Oak. Another 65. Seems to be quite a number of 65s, I think if that my memory serves me correct, that's about three for Air Oak and one for Ahabalak. In fairness, uh, and if, uh, if a correct reflection on the play has their ogre doing quite, quite well in this. And he lifts and strikes, and this is a better one. It could go all the way. It looks like going all the way. It does go all the way. Great score from the Hero centre fielder number eight. He's, that's his first one on target. And that's just the score at three points to two. James Spillane will take this puck out. A change in pucker out, or as it were, for a look. James strikes this one. It's a very good pocket too, it is. Ball broken down the field, but again, once again, Joe Foley whips the ball out to the far wing, and this will be Brian Leahy running for the ball. John McSweeney, Brian Leahy losing control of the ball, really, and not really concentrating on the ball. The ball broken down again in front. Neil Casey, who's playing quite well and doing very well, and he flicks the ball right up into the corner towards John Roach, John Keneally, and John Healy. John Healy doing very well this time. Ball breaking out loose, though, and this will be Joe Foley. Joe gets it into his hand. And Joe gets in a shot, and Joe gets in a great ball in towards the goalkeeper. It's inside the goals, but that will be a free out. It'll be a free out. Be a free out. There was a challenge on the goalkeeper inside, and that will be a free out. I think as they were both sort of running in, the ball arrived at the same time. However, Moss Manley deems it a free, and a free it is. John Heal will take it, and John strikes it down the field. Ball will land about in the mid-back line. Joe Foley and David Minor block it. David Buckley doesn't get to the pull. Patrick Murphy doesn't make, or Daniel Casey doesn't make the block. Steps inside and he gets the ball in towards the goals and this will be another dangerous one. Brian Rehill does very well to get the ball out to the far wing but there's a loose man outside and it looks like... And he took too many steps. He was being legally hassled by the Ahabulluk wing-back Donald Minahan and Patrick Murphy and that will be a free out instead. This looks like Michael Kelleher will take this one as well. Three points to two, certainly that, uh, that goal will have made a talking point. However, the game will go on, it was disallowed and there's no, no score allowed. Michael Kelleher striking the ball low down the far wing to Joe Foley. Joe doesn't get into his hands, but does very well to recover it. Adrian Deneen and David Buckley gets it to John McSweeney. John gets it into his hand, John doesn't get it into his hand, but his hand, the hand was on the back of John McSweeney. And Joe Foley will take this free again. Oh, well, look. We'll be hoping for the equaliser here. 
Joe placing the ball carefully. He's scored two out of the last two. Joe lifts and Joe strikes. And Joe drops it in towards the goalkeeper. It's blocked out by the goalkeeper who did very well. Blocked down towards the end line. And the ball has gone wide. John Brian Lee, I think it was, making the challenge. And the ball going wide. Joe a little bit short on range with that, but the accuracy was absolutely perfect. John Healy with the puck out. And here it comes. Right down the middle of the field again. Great puck out again. Patrick Murphy puts up his hand, doesn't get there. Neil Casey puts up his hand, but Neil slips, gets the ball into his hand and does very well. But loses control of the ball, however. Patrick Murphy coming back there to help. And Patrick gets it into his hand. And does very well to clear the ball up the wing again. But it's all alone in the middle of the field. Killian Sheehan, momentarily, David Buckley gets in a shoulder challenge. Killian Sheehan going back towards his own goals. He's still got the ball down, doing very, very well. Joe Foley. And Joe strikes a great ball in towards the goals. And the John Keneally and John Healy, the ball breaks outside. And the ball broken out the field, and that's going to be a free out. Hand on the back. Hand on the back, it's going to be a free out. Great strike there by Joe Foley, all the way in towards the goals. And the ball, not quite running for the yeah, ball forwards. Perhaps they're drawing themselves out a little bit too far. The ball broke inside, and it'll be, I think, John Healy to take this for you again. Ball out the field again. That's a good strike from John Healy right down the wing. De Donald Moynihan will race for this. The ball flicked on very expertly by the Arrow man. Brian Rehill trying to get his hurley in the ball. The ball is flicked inside. And it's pucked on by Joe Foley. Out towards the wing. James Spillane. And it comes off the Arrow man. And that is correct. It will be an Ahabolog line ball. Line ball down in the corner. About 20 metres out from Ahabolog's own goal. It looks like Brian Rehill will be taking this one. Brian will be hoping to get a bit of distance to this. It's a dangerous sort of a line ball in towards his own corner. <laughs> Brian gets a, a reasonable shout out to wing. Killian Sheehan does lets it behind him. David Buckley. David Buckley. Trying to flick it inside to John and does very well to get the ball to John McSweeney. And John McSweeney is being held by Killian Sheehan, I think, and Tim Cronin as well. They collaborated on the tackle as it were. And it'll be Joe Foley. David Buckley did very well there to win that ball. Joe Foley will take this one. He'll be hoping for perhaps a score this time. He strikes this one in towards the goals, but the people are inside in the square before the ball arrives, and that will be a needless free out. John Healy will take this free out again, and out it comes again, all alone into the middle of the field. David Buckley does very well to bat the ball forward. Brian Lee, he's trying to get into the game here, trying to get, but doesn't make it. David Buckley flicks it on and pulls along the ground, out the worst of the ring to a correct pick up. Blocked down very well by the Arrow players. Patrick Keefe trying to flick the ball on. He does. He needs a little bit of help. John Roach will be coming towards this towards him. Had loose tackle on the Ahabolog wing forward, Patrick Keefe. And it'll be Joe Foley to take this one as again. A lot of freeze in the game. Not much fluidity. And I think it can be put down to the fact that it's a final and both these teams know each other very well. Joe bends, lifts, strikes, it's a low one in towards the goals, it's blocked at the goals it's flicked inside and it's caught brilliantly inside again by John Healy, Adrian Deneen came right across the goals and was a little bit unlucky a tap on the hurley from John Keneally on John Healy and John Healy would clear that but a very very close thing, the, the, the defending fullback John Healy did very well to recollect the ball after it had been struck and a mighty puck away again, Padraig Murphy puts his hand up and makes a superb catch under pressure and a great ball back up the wing Broken down, John McSweeney. John McSweeney is being pulled by the referee for over carrying of the ball, and that will be a free for Aerog. John Healy again coming out to take this one, and why not? He's striking them so well at the moment. Great catch by Podrick Murphy. John Healy, another strike. A great ball right down Landier on the 21. Up go the Hurleys again. And it's batted out again. Donald Moynihan trying to come out with the ball. He's on his left and slightly hooked. Fixed the ball out. And gone inside. And again, over carrying by the Aero centre forward. And that will be another free out. Still three points to two. And approximately 24 minutes gone in the first half. Very, very low scoring number of chances going a begging on both sides. Ahabal doing slightly better in the last number of minutes. But they need to, to up their work rate a little bit more. Brian Rehill lifts and strikes a good ball up the wing. Down towards Brian Rehill. Brian doesn't quite get control of it, but John McSweeney does. 
and John gets a great ball in towards the goals. John Keneally breaks the ball out, out towards Pat Keefe. Pat Keefe is trying to get the ball up. He doesn't. He overruns it. He's coming out with the ball. He pulls on the ground now, in towards the corner towards John Roach. Out comes Adrian Deneen. Adrian out. He strikes the ball off his hurley, but the ball was struck under pressure, and the ball goes wide. A chance there for Ahabalog. Pat Keefe overran the ball, and that was possibly the losing really of the chance. But however, Hero tackling well in defence. John Healy pucks this one out again, landing around the Ahabalog 70 bars. Out. Joe Foley doing very well since he went to centre field. Chan Maxfini is going on a little bit of solo run. Low ball up the wing. John Roach pulls it into the middle. Killian Chain won't make it. John Maxfini will get the, the next one. The ball broken out again, and it's Tim Cronin for Aero using football skills. Podrick Murphy doesn't win this one. Michael Keller trying to get in a challenge here as Podrick Murphy puts in his own hurley. Gets the ball down, but the ball is still won in towards the goals and it's broken out along the wing. Brian Rehill does very well. He gets out in front, but the ball is broken us out again. And Donald Moynihan does very well. Does very well, does Donald. He's still soloing out the field. And does very well to pocket. Adrian Deneen doesn't get there. And this David Buckley chumps charging through. And David does very well, and that will be a free for Ahabalag. Donald Moynihan coming into it a little bit more. And I think David will take probably take this one himself. Adrian Deneen having come out wing forward. John Roach after coming out as well. David doesn't quite connect correctly with this one as the ball will drop around John McSweeney. It's battered out to Killian Sheehan. And Killian does very well to puck that ball out further. Straight into the hand. <coughs> And the ball is driven in towards the goals again. The ball is run inside. It's cut by Joe Foley. A great shot and it's a goal for Aero. A good goal scored by Joe Foley of Aero. And that will put them four points up. Good goal. Turned his man and struck it into the net. A good score. One, three to two points. Up around the middle of the field again. Brian Leahy not winning this one on this occasion. Podrick Murphy flick it out to the wing and does very well to get it on to David Buckley. David does, doesn't get... And that'll be a free for Ahabalag. Ahabalag not getting into the game. Podrick Murphy will take this free. And they're about three minutes to go to half time. A very important goal probably for Aerog there. And Podrick Murphy strikes a better one this time. Right down the middle again. John McSween, he doesn't get the ball. And he's hurley though very well. Ball breaks out the wing. John Healy doing very well inside. Donald Monaghan doesn't very well also. It comes out to Pat Keefe. Pat's half blocked down to John Keneally. Or is it Adrian Deneen? And the ball is clear by the arrow. Forwards again. John McSweeney. John strikes it back in towards the goal. It's caught inside. Shot along the ground. And a goal! Great goal by Adrian Deneen. Adrian Deneen, I think it was, eventually got his strike in. John McSweeney didn't get a quite a full puck in it. Gets it into his hand and that puts the score back to Ahabolog 1-2, Airog 1-3 and now the game is livened up a little bit. Ball alone in the middle of the field is Killian Sheehan, Patrick Murphy doesn't block the ball going through, John Roach trying to get there. John puts his hand on the back says referee Tomas Manley and that'll be a free in for Airog. Joe Foley of Airog making an attempt to come out of it but it looks like Tim Cronin the number 8 of Airog will be taking this one. A good reply there from Ahabolog, possibly struck along the ground, a great ground shot uh, out of his hand that bounced in front of the goalkeeper and into the back of the net for a good goal by Adrian Deneen. Tim Cronin will take the free. Tim strikes, it's looking good and it goes straight over the bar. And that puts the score at it, Rogue 1-4, Ahabolog 1-2, two, two points in it. And I think possibly a fair reflection in the game is there, Rogue have, have done particularly well at centre field and in their own half back line. David Buckley does, Michael Kelleher, Two fellas and two players in the same team. David Buckley whips it up along the wing. Brian Leahy trying to get the ball and does, gets the ball in further. The ball in towards John McSweeney and John is John is fouled as he makes an effort to go forward once again. Joe Foley coming out to take this one again. Placing the ball on the ground is Joe. Lifting, striking, looking straight over the bar. That's a better, much better score from Joe Foley. And that brings the score back to Ahabolog 1-3, Airog 1-4. And the game has certainly picked up in the last five minutes. As we approach the half-time break. Ball out the wing again. Right down for David Buckley. And David doing a little bit better at centre field. John McSweeney does very well to flick it again. Hand passed right out the wing here. He's coming. And it's cleared away again. 
Patrick Murphy falling very back deep and doing very well. Soloing out, hoping to get the ball away. And, he's, and does very well to get the ball up on his left hand side. And the ball is breaking lovely out the wing for Donald Moynihan. Donald doesn't quite get there. He gets in the tackle. Ball going up the wing. And that will be a line ball for Aha Bullock. <coughs> uh, Bullock would love another score before half time, as I'm sure they're all good. To bring them back a little party for the break. It can't be too far away from the break at this stage, depending on what Tomas Manley is on. There's been no real stoppages or injury time of anything like that. However, David Buckley will take the line ball for Ahabalog. Cuts it, not a tremendously great one, right across the field. It could come to John McSweeney or even Joe Foley. Joe gets it into his hand, Joe strikes it off his left, but it isn't a great ball. Donald Moynihan, the ball breaks inside for the backs. Donald going inside, flicks the, tries to flick the ball out, but the arrow backs are there in numbers. And they are almost cleared. And that will be the end of the action for the first half. And the score at half time is Airog 1 4, Ahabalog 1 3. Good even game, possibly. Nothing much between the teams. Airog doing very well at the start at centre field, but Ahabalog have come more into it the last five minutes. And the second half about to begin. It doesn't appear that there are any changes on either side. Um, watching the Ahabalog forwards, they seem to be lining out. John McSweeney's out centre half forward. John Roach, who started at centre forward, has gone left corner back. Michael Keller has gone right half back, and Donald Moynihan has gone left corner forward. Brian Leahy recommencing right half forward, and centre field will be David Buckley and Joe Foley. Tomas Manley, the referee, starting to throw in the ball. Giving one ball to David Buckley. Throwing the ball in, the game is on. David Buckley swiping early, but it doesn't get it. Killian Sheehan being bustled. Pat, Pat Keith getting his hurley to the ball, Joe Foley getting his pull to the ball, Killian Sheehan uh, dummying a pull, going in a little bit of a solo run, this doesn't quite get there, Michael Keller gets it across to him, Backs come, ball comes back to Tim Cronin, Tim turning around, striking the ball off his left in towards the goals, inside they come, well caught inside, and a good strike, and that is a good score for Airog. scored by the full forward, caught the ball very well from the catch, and the ball goes over the bar, practically no win to speak of at the moment, as Airog. In the first minute of the second half score, Brian Rehill will take this puck out. Brian, a, a low sh one out towards the middle of the field. Ball broken out the far wing. Joe Foley won't get there though. Tim Cronin, Joe Foley does get there. Does very well to win a 50-50 ball. Possibly that he had no right to win. Adrian Deneen coming out the field. Adrian is pushed in the back and that will be a free in. The Apple look forwards heading towards the goal. John Keneally, this it looks like being Joe Foley once again. Joe putting the ball down the ground looking at the post, lifting and striking a good high ball straight across the goals but it's going wide, went to the left of the goals and wide, another chance gone on missing for Maha Bullock, none of these frees particularly easy but still I suppose Joe would be a little bit disappointed that he didn't score that one, John Healy will take the puck out, it'll be interesting to see how far his puck out comes at this half, Had a very good puck out in the first half and John strikes a very good one again Orlandi around the Aha Bullock 70 metre line Michael Kelleher bats the ball forward very well. John McSweeney not quite there in time. David Buckley gets his hurley to the ball. Flick it out to the far wing. Adrian Deneen running for this one again. Doesn't win it. David Buckley going in to try and help. Ball breaking out to the far wing. David is still there. Ball broken down the wing. Michael Kelleher pulling the ball in along the ground. Donald Moynihan doesn't get there. Ball cleared out to the far wing. <coughs> and that's a free for Airog. As the left half back for Airog was fouled. And John Healy will come out all the way from full back to drive this ball back down the middle of the field again. Two minutes gone in the second half. Airog leading by two points. 1 5 to 1 3. John Healy with this one. And it's a mighty puck down the field. Landing around. Podrick Murphy will be hoping to win it. Podrick breaks the ball down. Ball broken out to the wing. Avalog will be trying to try and clear this one. Doesn't quite come out to the wing though. Michael Kelleher trying to get there. Ball is on the ground, Patrick Murphy trying to bring it out, Joe Foley brings it out a little bit further, Tim Cronin does very well but it's half blocked down, David Buckley trying to get there with the ball, ball comes into the hands of Joe Foley, the ball is blocked again and the ball has gone out and that'll be a line ball it looks like for Ahabalog. He Michael Keller to strike this one and Michael strikes a very good ball but it's right up the middle of the field again, ball back down the field, Joe Foley flicks it on. John McSweeney trying to get there in time. The ball is flicked up the wing and this will be Adrian Deneen. Now Adrian has to make sure he gets the ball into his hand. Going on a bit of a solo run is Adrian. And Adrian strikes the ball in towards the goals. The ball breaking down in front of the goals. Pat Keith pulls, but I think Pat was pushed in the back. And that will be a 20 metre free. A correct decision by Tomas Manley. The ball broken down from John Keneally. And 
Donald Moynihan but Pat Keefe was pushed in the back and Jay, Joe Foley will probably take this 20 metre free again. Those strikes and it goes straight over the bar and that means there's one point in it again. Herog 1-5, Ahabalog 1-4. John Healy will take this puck out again. Ball right down the middle of the field again. Bouncing. Podrick Murphy is caught up in his terrible legs. Brian Rehill. And Brian does very well to flick the ball out to the wing. Neil Casey trying to go after the ball. Or Podrick Murphy trying to go after the ball. Gets his hurley in, but it's a great ball inside to Joe Foley. Joe gets it right in towards the middle. And this is a great chance. Oh, Neil Casey does very well. A very, very dangerous attack there for Aero. The ball was worked in from the left. Joe Foley passed the ball in. The ball took an unlucky bounce, and Neil Casey was able to deflect it out for a 65. And this will be Tim Cronin to take another 65 for Air Oak. Having scored one in the first half, he'll be hoping for a much a similar result in the second half, if not even to drop it in around the square. Air Oak will be hoping for some return from this attack. Tim looking at the post. Bending, striking, high dropping ball in towards the goals. It could go anywhere. Ball is broken inside towards the goals. It's a goal for Air Oak. And there it is. Would it possibly be the full forward again, number 14? A goal for Aero. Ball broke down. It wasn't cleared properly. And Aero, who missed a possible chance of a goal just before it, have got one back. Ball broken out for Brian Leahy. Brian trying to get his... Trying to get his ball. David Buckley doesn't get there. Patrick Murphy doesn't get there. David Buckley gets the ball further on. The ball broken down the wing. It'll be... F the ball's flicked out the wing. But Aero playing very well in the... the half back line at the moment pucking the ball out over the sideline that'll be a line ball for Ahabalog that's a great score for Airog. two fire to one four they lead at the moment and they'll be having thoughts of the cup however six minutes gone in the second half John Michael Kelleher rather will take this one and Michael strikes another very good one up into the air doesn't quite come down. John McSweeney gets the ball into his hand. John going in a bit of a solo run. He's running across the field at the moment and does very well to strike the ball in towards the goals. John Healy. The ball breaks down to Donald Moynihan. and Donald flicks it inside. He leaves it on the ground and pucks the ball wide. A bit of a chance there for Ahawalak. A bit of a chance. John Keneal did well to break the ball down but it just wouldn't run. It just wouldn't run. John Healy with this puck out, ball dropping about zone 70 yards out. Pat Keefe will... David Buckley gets the ball into his hand. David going in a bit of a solo run up the wing. Does very well to get the ball in low along the ground. Donald Moynihan waiting for the ball to bounce. Gets the ball into his hand. Passes the ball out, lovely to Pat Keefe. Pat with the shot. It's in off the goalkeeper. And a good save by the goalkeeper. And flicked out to the wing. Ball flicked further out the wing, the ball gone out over the sideline, line ball for Ahabalog. A good chance of Ahabalog for Ahabalog there, Pat Keefe possibly shot a little bit early. However, it's a line ball for Ahabalog, as John McSweeney will take this one. Four points between the teams. About 20 metres out from the Aerogen line on the left hand side of the goals as we look at it. John doesn't hit a particularly good one, goes right across the goals. Joe Foley wins the pull almost, ball comes in. Half cleared out. Ball will break to John Sweeney, and John strikes, and that's right across the square. This could break, they'd be hoping. Pulled on by John Keneally, but John Healy does very well to clear that ball out the wing and further cleared out to the far away. And this is going to be a break on here. And it looks like uh, it's a low one. Patrick Murphy tried to get his hurley in the ball, but didn't get it. This is Noel Brennan. Noel going soloing in towards the goals. Still gold, doesn't get there. Patrick Murphy does. And gets the ball out to the wing with his foot. Going down on the ball. And does very well to clear the ball right out the field. But all alone is Tim Cronin. And again at centre field, Ahabalag are not, not, not just not being able to get there in time. And this is Joe Foley flicked out to the far wing. Fli still going. Neil Casey puts in his hurley. The ball is stopped. And Michael Kelleher clicks the one. Ball flicked out again. Adrian Deneen trying to get there. Adrian doesn't get there. The ball flicked back it down again. But Patrick Murphy rises high and rises cleanly and he's fouled and that'll be a free out. Ah, uh, Bullock possibly need to get a score to get back into this game quickly. Joe Foley.
or Podrick Murphy. Podrick strikes it. Not a particularly great one. Ball bouncing correctly. And it's right down the wing again. Michael Kelleher doing very well to puck the ball back up into the forwards again. John McSweeney. David Buckley doing quite well. Gets the ball into his hand. And David is there's a hand in David's back, I think, and that will be a free in. Joe Foley will take this one. Joe will be hoping for a score this time. As Ahabolog seek or endeavour to, to lower the lead or to reduce the lead. Joe standing over the ball. Lifting. Striking it low and hard and straight over the bar. And that's a good score by Joe Foley, who, if my memory serves correctly, scored all Ahabolog's five points. There's one goal between the teams. Zero, two, five, Ahabolog, one, five. Pucked out by John Healy, the fullback, right down the wing, and it's Tim Cronin all alone once again. Hand passed out the wing. All right, out to Noel Brennan, and Noel keeps the ball moving in towards the Ahabolog goal. James Spillane coming out first to the ball is fouled, and that will be a free out. Ahabolog have upped their performance a little bit. Ten minutes gone in the second half. One goal between the teams. And it looks like a change in the Ahabolic team. Justin Lynch is coming in and b replacing Brian Leahy. Brian Rehill with this puck. And Brian strikes a good one. Right down the middle of the field again. Right down the middle for John Sweeney. John McSweeney doesn't get this one though. Ball is pucked out. Michael Keller running towards it. Michael doing very well to get the ball into his hand and gets a good puck. A little bit of a higher. Patrick, Pat Keefe flicks the ball on. Donald Monaghan trying to get there in time. John Keneally gets the ball into his hand. John looking at the post. The ball is not quite... I'm sure it didn't go where John meant it to go. Ball is pulled out to the far wing. And that is a free out for Aerog. Obviously, referee Tomas Manley saw an infringement by an Ahabalog player. And that will be free out. And I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure, John Healy, the fullback of Aerog, who's having a quite a good game, will take this one as well. Ahabalog doing a lot of seemingly needless fouling and the ball is in around the goals John Healy bending striking a very good one out again around the middle of the field again Joe Foley coming forward to this and Adrian Deneen Joe Foley gets his hurley to it breaking the ball inside Justin Lynch a great ball right across the goals to Donald Monaghan now what can Donald do here Donald flipping it on his hurley going outside Donald have a look and he strikes the ball in low but it's inside again John Sweeney didn't quite get there and John Sweeney does very well to hook out towards Patrick Keefe. Pat trying to get the ball in. John Sweeney does a very good pick up. Getting the ball in towards the goals again. The ball is broken down inside along the goals. But the ball is going to be cleared out the wing again. And the ball is flicked up the far wing. Picked up. John Roach coming out to tackle. The ball is half blocked by Michael Kelleher. And Michael is pushed in the back. And that will be a free for Ahabalag. It looks like... Padraig Murphy will take this one again. Padraig doesn't strike a great ball, but it comes as far as David Buckley. Back down the wing. Neil Casey trying to get the ball in. Bit of a dangerous pull. Joe Foley does very well. The ball breaks out to... Ball out to the far wing. Noel Brennan going through with this one. James Spillane coming out. The referee says he fouled, and that will be a four, uh, free about... So 35 metres out from the goals and Tim Cronin will take this one he'll be hoping to put four points between the teams again <laughs> 12 minutes gone in the second half <laughs> Tim spinning and striking and putting the ball straight over the bar And that puts the score once more at Aero 2 6, Ahabalog 1 5. Four points between the teams again. And it's at a stage in a game like this. Ball breaking inside. John McSweeney trying to go after the ball, but Ahabalog not doing great. Patrick Keith doing very well to get his hurley in the ball. David Buckley trying to get the ball on. But Aero doing, doing very well at centre field at the moment. Ahabalog certainly not functioning when it comes there and this I think will be Tim Cronin and this will be dropping in around the square and we all remember what happened with the last one that dropped in around the square <laughs> Tim 
Tim comes up and strikes it and that's dropping in around the square and that's going to be dangerous once more. David Buckley does a little bit better but the ball still isn't coming out. David brings it out to the side this time. Does very well to get his hurley in the ball. And that's ball is going in towards the goals but the ball has gone wide. Ahabal is doing slightly better on that occasion, not very convincingly though. However, on the other hand, Ahabalog are losing by four points at the moment. Two six to one five. Brian Rehill will take the puck out. And that's a quite a good puck out. And that's a great puck out from Brian. Right down the middle of the field. But once again, the centre half back for Aerog doing very well. Gets the ball to Tim Croner. And Tim trying to pick the ball up. And he does. And Joe Foley gets in a tackle and does very well. But locks the ball up and the ball is knocked out over the sideline. And there is going to be a line ball for Aerog. Tim Cronin, who seems to be their line taker, free taker, and about every, just about everything taker, will take this one as well. It's a good one, blocked by Joe Foley. And that will be a clash ball, I think. Yeah, refer the linesman will throw it in. Joe Foley lining up for it. Ball right across the middle. Padraig Murphy gets his hand in the ball. Looking for somebody to pass the ball to, but he doesn't get there. Ball in towards the goals. Eddie Toomey gets the ball into his hand. And Eddie does very well to clear the ball out the wing. And Joe Foley drives it even further down along the field. Ball breaking inside. John Healy will try and go for that. Ball is blocked, but it's John Healy doing very well, playing at full back. Playing a great game. Killian Sheehan grabbing the ball. And the ball flicked off his foot right across to Tim Cronin. David Buckley racing after Tim, trying to get there. And David Buckley fouls Tim Cronin, and that will be a free in, and this could be five points. Tim will take this free about, uh, once again, about so 50 metres out from the goals. Bending, lifting, striking, straight and over the bar. And that puts five points between the teams. Aerog 2-7, Ahabalog 1-5. Ahabalog certainly need a score to get back into this game. Brian Rehill with the puck out, coming out this way. Towards Neil Casey, Joe Foley, Joe gets it into his hand, Joe gets the ball still in his hands, trying to get the ball into his hand, doing very well, and striking the ball of his left hand right in towards John McSweeney, a great catch by John Healy again who has played absolutely superbly, drives the ball out the wing, dropping right under us here, Neil Casey getting, trying to get his hand in the ball, Neil is fouled and that will be a free, and the referee will ball off the wing and John Malone of Aerog being booked by referee Tomas Manley Joe Foley will take this free Joe lifts and Joe strikes and they're still inside in the square again. And referee Tomas Manley will give a free every time that somebody's inside in the square before the ball arrives. And that'll be a free out. Ahabalog giving away a number of frees because of that this year, tonight. John Healy will lift and John strikes. Not a tremendously great ball though. Coming towards Adrian Deneen. The ball is won inside. John McSweeney puts in his hurley, doesn't get there though. Error rogue. The ball flicked back in. <coughs> out to the far wing, Justin Lynch. Justin Lynch not being quite there. And that will be a free once again for John Healy. A game of frees. Lots of frees being given away. And John will be only too delighted to take his time for this. About, oh, I'd say about 
eight minutes to go in the game. Brian Rehill, ball flicked inside. Podrick Murphy coming across and Podrick has done quite well and gets the ball down the field towards David Buckley. David who has struggled to make a bit of an impact in this game, getting the ball out the wing and the ball coming across as it goes right in towards the goals again and this is going to be, you know, John Roach gets his leg to the ball, it's going very near the end line again and gets it out and John is fouled and that will be a free out. About 12 minutes left in the game. Ahabalog, five, trailing by five points. Michael Kelleher and strikes the ball down the field once again. Killian Sheehan winning it. Neil Casey getting the ball. The ball is pulled on by Killian Sheehan. The ball breaks up. Hooked by David Buckley. Ball going right down the wing. Brian Rehill trying to get there in time. Brian doesn't get there. Noel Brennan does. And Noel Brennan strikes. And Noel Brennan puts this one wide. Good effort for a score from Noel Brennan. A little bit unlucky perhaps that he didn't get it. Uh, Bullock certainly need to get a score to get back into this game. There's about 11 minutes to go. And they don't, they don't certainly look at the moment as if they're going to do it. A great flick on by Joe Foley. But once again it's Killian Sheehan and he's had a great game all through. Doing very well. Ball back in towards Joe Podrick Murphy. Who it must be said has played very, very well for Ahabolog all night. Right down the wing. Ball breaks inside the field again. Ball pulled in towards John Keneally. John trying to get the ball right across the goals. But this is John Healy. And John Healy plays very well to get the ball out. And the ball breaking out. And that's a free for Airog. And that'll be a free for Airog. Podrick Murphy committing the free. And this will be Tim Cronin once again to put a clear two goal margin between the teams. Tim has been shooting very well all night and he'll be hopeful of getting another score here. The Arbolog forwards unable to make any impression whatsoever on Airog. And Airog certainly look much more threatening when they, when they move towards the goals. Tim Cronin strikes and Tim Cronin puts it straight over the bar. That's a very good score from Tim Cronin to leave the score. Ahabolog 1-5, Airog 2-8. Two goals in it, and it's looking very good for Airog's first minor title in 21 years. Ball breaks inside the far forward line. Ball breaking out the wing again. And cleared, pucked in by Joe Foyle. The ball breaking inside to John Malone. Eddie Toomey blocks it very well. Eddie Toomey didn't get the ball out. The ball is inside. Yeah! And it's a goal for Airog. And it's a goal for Airog. And that, my friends, is surely that now. Ball possibly should be cleared. Uh, didn't look a particularly difficult shot to block, but however, the ball went into the net, and that looks as if the game could be over. Ten minutes to go. Good puck out from Brian Rehill. All alone. Killian Sheehan. David Buckley trying to get there in time. Ball pulled on by Adrian Denny and John McSweeney getting the ball into his hands. No, he's not. And it's John Healy who, for me, has been the man of the match all night. Joe Foley will probably take this one. Looks like John McSweeney will take it. No, Joe calls for the ball and says he'll have a go at this one. As Joe looks at the ball in front of the goals. About 30 yards out. Will he go for a point? He does go for a shot. The ball goes in and the ball goes straight over the bar. There are about eight minutes left in the game and eight points between the teams. But the way the game has been going, it certainly doesn't look as if Aha Bullock will have enough firepower or even chances to come back into this game. The goal arrow scored at the start of the second half has proved an incredible goal. Tim Cronin, who has, for me, also played a superb game in the middle of the field. Ball in towards the goal. James Spellan coming out with the ball and James does very well to clear it. Great ball down the wing. Out comes John McSweeney. John going inside. Going on a bit of a run. Could John get a score? John shoots and John puts it over the bar. And for me, that's Ahabolic's first point from play since the beginning of the match. Seven points in it. And there are approximately eight minutes to go. Ahabolog, however, need a goal at some stage, unless they can keep whittling it back. John Healy with the puck out, Podrick Murphy arriving for this one, and David Buckley as well. However, again the arrow, half-back line. Ball broken inside, 
and it's gone again by and it's flicked out to the far wing to John Malone and John strikes ball is blocked by John Roach but he's got it back again he's gone inside he's trying to get over the ball, ball across the goals and it's John Roach will come out with this he's got the ball on the ground and he gets the ball off along the wing and that'll be a line ball for Airog, which will certainly help to break the momentum of Aha Bullock's attack once more Tim Cronin will go across to take this one again. Another substitute coming out for Ahawala. This looks like Germanly. And Jur looks to be replacing Pat Keefe. Ball blocked by Joe Foley. Joe Foley is fouled and that'll be a free for Ahawala. Maybe Ahawala can get a score, but it certainly doesn't look like that. It looks as if it's too little too late. John Michael Kelleher with this puck. Away down the field it goes. Adrian Deneen will be challenging for it. The ball breaks inside. Justin Lynch gets the ball added on to further. John McSweeney. John McSweeney trying to go on a bit of a solo run. John is still going. He's gone inside. And John shoots. And John puts it over the bar. And there are two goals in it. Six points in it. There are six minutes to go. Uh, well, I've brought, it back I've brought it back to two goals. There are John McSweeney getting two points. Getting two points there. John Healy with this puck out. Uh, Bullock doing slightly better since John McSweeney has gone to full forward. Perhaps he might have gone for a goal on that occasion, but he took his points. Six points between the teams. John Healy, another great puck out. Right down the middle of the field again towards Tim Cronin. Tim doesn't get quite control of the ball. Ball flicked back up along the wing as Noel Brennan gets his hand on the ball and Noel takes too many steps and that'll be a free for Aha Bullock. Joe Foley will take this one. Bending and Joe striking it right down the middle towards the goals. Joe gets the ball in his hand. Ball blocked and well cleared out the wing by the arrow goalkeeper and gets the ball to who else but Tim Cronin. But Tim is beaten on this occasion by David Buckley. And David doesn't get the ball correctly struck. And it goes right across the, to, to nobody but an arrow man. Joe Foley gets the ball back in. But it's a great place clearance. And Podrick Murphy standing superbly in the middle of the field. Lost control of the ball though. And Michael Kelleher didn't. Brian Rehill gets his flick in. Going after the ball. This is Noel Brennan. And Brian Rehill gets his hurley in again. And a great ball out to the far wing. And the ball right in towards the square. And there's two men inside. And James Spillan letting the ball run. And that'll be a 65 for Airog. As Airog lead by six points with approximately four minutes to go. And it's a score here from Tim Cronin. Would certainly almost put an end to the game. Here comes Tim. We'll take this one. He bends, lifts, strikes. It's a high one. That's a great shot, but it goes wide. Still two goals between the teams. Brian Reel will take this puck out. A certain amount of urgency now among the Ahabalik players. They need to get a goal. Two of them, quickly, to get back into this game. Ball out to the far wing towards John Manley. Ball breaking down. Donald Moynihan breaking inside. Donald Moynihan is fouled, and that'll be a free in for Ahabalik. And Joe Foley will take this one as well. Joe bending, lifting, striking a low one, but it's straight to Tim Cronin. Who else? And who has played very well all day. And it's a good run. Joe tried a bit of a hand pass, but it didn't quite work off. Neil Casey coming back at him. But he's still going and gets the ball up along the wing. Brian Rehill getting out there first and doing very well to get the ball back out, but it's all alone. And he lifts and strikes, but the ball has gone wide. There's a chance there, certainly. To, to almost put the insurance score. James Spillane will take this puck out. And he pucks it right down the field again. The ball breaks inside once more. And it's Donald Moynihan. Donald getting the ball into his hand. Oh, Donald doesn't do quite enough. The whistle is gone. There's a bit of a, an argument. Come on, Tim, get in there. 
linesman Sean Rehill and that'll be a, a clash ball between Joe Foley and that'll be a free in for Aha Bullock. Joe Foley will probably take this one as well. There are two minutes to go. Joe dropping the ball right in towards the goals. Ball breaking inside. John Healy, who has been absolutely outstanding all night for Aero. Joe Foley does very well to win the tackle. Trying to get the ball in. Joe Manley trying to get the ball in as well. That will be a free for Aero. And they will clear it from here. John Healy will make the long journey out from fullback. He has been absolutely outstanding for Aero all night. Has been totally secure and has. been very solid under pressure. Ball up the wing. Donald Money put up, puts up his hand, doesn't quite get there. Joe Manley does very well. Gets the ball in towards the square. Ball inside. John Keneally caught the ball, puts the ball down. Shot from John Keneally. John McSweeney puts the ball over the bar. I think he was going for a goal, but he caught the ball that's went too high. And that will put it at Aerogue 3 8, Ahabolog 1 9. And I make it about 20 seconds left in the game. The referee looks to be looking at his watch. John Healy with the puck out. A long one. And there is the final whistle. Victory for Aerogue on a final score of three goals and eight points to one goal and nine. A thoroughly deserved victory for Aerogue. They were the better team all through. Much more threat, carried much more threat up front. And Ahabolog just didn't have any answers on the night.
and for our supporters who many in came along here tonight to support the lad. So I'd like to give three cheers for our bollock. Alright.